welcome to the vlog. This weekend we're going to be vlogging at Nationals because it is the South African Pole Sports Federation's South African National Championships happening this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. It's currently Friday evening and this Nationals is going to be very busy and very exciting because in addition to competing in the para pole sports category on Saturday, I have also entered to compete in uh, aerial hoop sports, the um, semi-professional division, and that is happening on Sunday. Plus, on Sunday, I have five students that I have been coaching and helping them choreograph their routines and get ready and prepped uh, uh, for the competition, and they are all competing on Sunday with me as well, so I'm going to be there coaching them, cheering them on, and hoping that they do well. I'm so, so excited to see all of their um, routines. I think I'm like even more excited for that than I am for my own routines. But anyway, it's going to be a very, very busy weekend, but I'm going to try as much as possible, remember to vlog and bring you guys along with so you can see the whole process. Tonight, I've just been packing my bags. Um, so I've got all my like costume, hair, makeup stuff. Um, everything is all ready to go. Plus my like pole kit bag with all my therabands and foam rollers and everything that I need to like warm up because I'm going to be there. It's a very long day tomorrow. I have to get there at 8 a.m. for registration and then we are there the whole day because although I compete at 2, we have like test times in the morning Then there's the opening ceremony that we have to be there for. We have to be there for, for podium and then um, the studio that I've been training at, Pole Playground, we have a whole bunch of athletes that are competing um on the Saturday tomorrow so um I want to stay and watch everyone and particularly my coach Daniela and she's right at the end of the night so I'm going to stay till the end anyway and see her entire section plus her podium so um it's going to probably go until like 10 o'clock so it'll be 8 to 10 tomorrow and then it'll be 8 to hopefully around like 8-ish on Sunday so two very long and very busy days but I am super super excited for it uh, good morning, it's Nationals day one. I'm in my tracksuit and ready to go. We're gonna head to the uh, competition venue now. My mom is picking me up and then we are going to um, drive together to be there for 8 a.m. for registration.
behalf of Caitlin Wilson is 36.9. Yes! I'm feeling like over We're still going to see you. It's upside down. No, I, it's inverted in the video. So. <laughs> it's mirror. But the other way. So, pole sports division is done. I got my gold medal. I'm really, really happy with how my routine went. Like, it went so 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 well and now i am done competing for the day we're just going to stay and watch the artistic section because our winter pole playground peeps daniela roxy d are all competing so i'm gonna have something to eat now a little snack and then just chill out and watch the rest of the competition exciting Day one of competition is officially done. We made it through a very, very, very long day, but it was such a good day. Everyone did so well. All the pole playground athletes killed it. Absolutely amazing. My coach, Daniela, came first place in the artistic professional senior women division, which is like, was a super competitive division. I'm so, 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 so happy for her. Um, I'm really happy with my score. My routine went really well. And yeah, it was just overall a really lovely, great day. And now it is time for me to go to bed and get some rest before tomorrow, because tomorrow is another big day. Um, I'm competing Lyra, and then I've got my girls that I'm coaching, and I'm so, so, so excited. I'm like more excited to see their routines than I am for mine. Like my routine, I'm like not even stressed about it at all. Like I'm like, whatever, it, whatever happens will happen. Like it'll be fine. Whereas their routines, I'm like so excited to see them. They've put in so much work. They've worked so hard. And I'm like, literally like, so like excited to see their, see their routines and see how they do. And oh, it's going to be amazing. Anyway, I need to get to bed now and get some rest because it's another long day tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow. Hey, busy getting ready for day two of competition, wearing my Cirque track suit today and really excited for all the aerial hoop. I've still got glitter in my hair from last night. This is not going to come out anytime soon, but it's fine because we're going to make it work because I've got silver accents in my costume today. So the silver is still going to work. So I'll probably just refresh the glitter and carry on with the whole glitter theme and make it work. That was my kind of plan anyway, because I had a feeling that this would not be out by this morning, so it's good. Mom's not competing today, but we're still gonna drive together. I'm gonna go pick her up uh, in a little bit, and then we're gonna go together to the comp venue, and she's gonna, she's helping out and like hoop cleaning um, and helping out the organizers the whole day, and then she'll be there for me as well, which is nice. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited. <music>
Okay, Sophia, what's happening? How are we feeling? <laughs> Sophia's stressing. No, I feel fine. She's gonna be amazing. Though. It's fine. Mm -hmm. We all we did the opening ceremony, and now we're all getting ready backstage. Oh my gosh, what a long weekend, but so, so amazing, so, so exciting. Um, today went, like, honestly, the best it could have gone. I am so proud of all my girls that I coached. They all did so well. Nikita qualified for both sport and artistic for the world champs, which is super, super exciting. She won in her artistic division. I'm so, so proud of her. She got a really good score for sports. Hilda did so well with her routine. Um, so, so proud of her. Caitlin and Amy came first and second in their divisions, which was amazing. And Juliet also got like a really, really good score. So all my girls that I coached did so, so, so well. And I'm so, so, so proud of them. It was actually, it was stressful, but a lot of fun, like coaching and being there for them. And I'm just so glad that I was able to do that for them. And then my routine also went well, like, um, I, it was honestly like a blur, like I kind of <laughs> like warmed up, went on stage, came off and then went straight back into coaching and it was like a whole like, like blur, like literally barely remember any of it, but I got a pretty good score. I'm pretty happy with it. No placing in the division or anything, but we weren't really expecting that. Like I went in with literally no expectations for this Lira sports routine. So like anything that I got, I was happy with and um yeah i think it it was a really really good day um i'm exhausted now though i've kind of lost my voice a little bit like my throat is not really there anymore and um i am so tired so i'm gonna go to sleep now and yeah rest after such a busy weekend <laughs> 